grandiose projects of the USSR, which are abandoned today. Lapatinsky Phosphorite Mine In the Moscow region, near the town of Vaskrysiansk, you can easily find a huge phosphorite mine. Development here began back in 1930s. The availability reserves allowed for open pit mining. In the 90s, the mine was abandoned. The quarries were filled with water and the huge mining equipment remained rusting. The Duck Diesel Plants Marine Workshop The shop was built in 1935, right in the Cap Caspian Sea, off the coast of the city of Caspian. It was a unique Soviet project designed for testing torpedo missiles. Like a fortress, it stands in the water 2.7 km from the shore. In the 60s, the plant fell into disrepair and the workshop was abandoned to the lack of use. An ionospheric research station. In Krakow region, there is a unique station for studying the ionosphere. This incredible project of the USSR, consisting of fields of antennas and huge parabolic antennas, the station was built just before the collapse of the Soviet Union. Today, the structure is falling apart on its own or being stolen by scrap metal hunters. The Elementary Practice Accelerator The Kalidus project started to be implemented in the late 80s in Protvino, Moscow region. The 21-kilometer tunnel was already ready and the necessary equipment began to be assembled and brought in. But the collapse of the country has put and an end to another grandiose project. An atomic lighthouse at Cape Aniva. In 1939, a 31 meter high structure appeared on Sakhalin. It was a simple beacon until the 90s when isotope elements were used for its operation. The lighthouse began to function independently, receiving the energy of radioactive decay. But soon the project was completely abandoned despite its minimal cost and then looted by thieves. Don't forget to subscribe and like it. Thanks for sharing and bye bye.